Hi, welcome to another edition of Gary's Hobby Studio. In today's video, I'm going to go over a Kickstarter that just came in on Saturday, which is the same day as I'm filming this. And let me show you what it is. It is Night of the Living Dead Zombicide. Uh, it was where they got the rights to the original uh, Night of the Living Dead movie, turned it into a board game. It'll be very exciting to play it because I have always loved it, especially the original black and white version. Um, I'm probably not going to do black and white versions of the characters. I probably will paint them all in color uh, just because it's me. Uh, I know they did, a, I don't know if they did a colorized version of the original, like they just colorized it, or if they, I think they, I think they redid it in color, but it had different actors and everything. So let me go ahead and open this up. So here's the box, and I have to rotate that so that I can do the actual unboxing like I normally do. Just give me one second. All right, so this is what the front of the box looks like. I know the light's hitting it and everything. Let me switch to my. Uh, hang on one second. All right, I had to replug in my webcam because it fucks up. So let's go ahead and be careful not to scratch the box. But as you can see, this is my first. Well, it's not our first, like me and my wife, but it's my first. Uh, Simon game that I've owned. She's not a big Zombicide fan for some reason, but yet, I mean, uh, a zombie person, but she bought Zombicide Green Horde. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> so, that's the box lid. Okay, free Simon content, get it here, huh, wonder what that is, I'll have to check that out. Might be I already downloaded the free scenario that they've uploaded already. I think they're supposed to have something else this coming Friday, we'll see. Um, but we have the board game rules here, you have the 12 survivors. And then you have 28 walkers, because you have 66 miniatures total, double-sided board tiles, cards, nice setup of the game, the basics, all done up really nice. And see, they have them in color here, so that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to paint them, you know, lifelike. I've seen some people already paint them with uh, in black and white, like the movie, which is fine for them, not for me. But here's their player cards here that go into the trays, standard Zombicide trays, which I will probably paint these in since they're recessed. Um, just got to figure out how to protect this and pull this out. How I have no, uh, well, it pulls up a little bit, yeah. 
yeah, I just need to protect the tape and be able to prime it. Uh, probably prime these black and then like fill in the little like dimple recess parts. I'll, I'll have to think about it. Uh, I know uh, I'll probably remember his thing during this. Um, watch it paint it. <laughs> Uh, they did a thing where they painted these for like the zombie side. I'm probably going to do it for Night of the Living Dead. But basically the character cards. You know, like we'll take Barbara. And it fits down there. These are like their weapon cards. And as you can tell, there's black and white side. And then there's this side because, and that's in the other box, which you'll, which we'll get to here in a moment. But that's how the trays work, and there's little pegs here for their health and whatever over there. And I don't know what this is, because like I said, I, I never owned a Simon game like this, so this is like my first one, so it's going to be a learning experience for me. My, my wife is the Simon plastic crack junkie. <laughs> she really is. <laughs> I always mess with her. Hey, honey, you're a Simon plastic crack junkie. Simon plastic crack junkie. And then they have these that go on their bases. Here's the pegs, which look like torches. Eh, sorry about that. I haven't switched my thing back over to the uh, to the webcam, even though I got the power adapter in because I threw out the last one. All right, but yeah, you know these are the pegs, and they're in different colors, obviously for the different people. Here are the card the mini cards for it for like car i'll open these up here in a second it's kind of weird they give you regular dice and not like their zombicide style dice i'll have to message them on that let's pick that up and put it over here for the actually over here Yeah, basically these cards, they just go like, uh, on the black and white side, slippery, plus one action, and plus one free move action. I Again, I don't know what these are, but then once she gets hold of the shotgun, then it's like slippery, plus one action, plus one free combat action, plus one free move action, plus one die combat, plus one free move action, barbarian, which is unique. So apparently it has something to do with because of the, the shotgun or abilities or something, which again, I'll definitely have to read the manual for that. So I'll set that there. And here are the miniatures themselves. And that's kind of unique. That guy kind of got spun around yeah, there we go. So here's one of the heroes. Yeah, I know it sucks because, like I said, I don't have a zoom function. Um, but I can go by the cards of who they are. This one is Ben holding the tire iron. Okay, and you've seen the card for Barbara, and the detail on these is like really, really nice. I mean, I can't wait to paint them, although it looks like her nose is like really smushed. I'm going to have to look at that. I know on the Mantic Games Kickstarter, um, oh, I can't think of his name. Um, if you've ever seen the TV series, 
uh, the guy that Rick runs into that has a kid that was living in his house or living in that house that the kid came up and smacked him in the back of the head with the shovel. Um, I can't think of his name, but he had like where like the tip of his nose wasn't there and they sent me a replacement. So I have both a uh, regular one that has the proper nose and I have one and I cannot for the life of me remember his name. It, like, like I said, again, it'll come to me like, you know, watch it paint. It did. Um, but I can't think of his name right off the top of my head. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, her nose is kind of flat. I'm going to have to message Simon on it. See if I can get a replacement. His is all right. Yeah, every one of them's fine ex so far, except for Barbara. Barbara's the only one that has a flat nose like somebody hit her. Well, I don't know. This... I'll have to have my wife look at it to make sure. Both of them have, like, really flat noses. Now, hers is all right. Yeah, so far everybody else is alright, but I got two of them that like the noses are like really smushed into their face. And I don't think it was damaged, I think it was manufacturing. I will definitely have to message Simon on that. Uh, I don't know if these are. Oh yeah, these are like monsters. These two red ones. Her nose is fine. That one's fine. That's the zombicide version of her. That one's fine. He's fine. Here's Barbara with her shotgun. Now her nose is fine. Yeah. It's just these two right here for some reason the noses are like really smushed and I'm gonna have to see about getting replacements because that's just that's just not good uh, so anyways so we saw Barbara Ben this one's Harry that's the guy that had the the I want to say the little girl in the movie And they could have made it so that that crowbar or whatever he has in his hand was not stuck to his leg, but I can't. You know, there's nothing much I can do. And this one is not this card. This one's Helen. That's this person here. This is one of the ones that have the smushed nose. But as you can see, now granted it's not the exact same pose as the picture. There's not much you can do. And here's Judy. Daughter Judy. But anyways. <laughs> Sorry, thought about the Jetsons. So that'll be interesting to paint. Because it's blue jeans mostly. And Tom with the knife. And then there's Tom with the blowtorch, which is down here. Let's put these in the right order. Let's see. That's Ben, Barbara, Harry, Tom, Helen, Judy. Okay. So, like I said, the colorized sides are probably what I'm going to paint both of them, both sets. Um, but he has a shot, uh, has a has a rifle in this one. And Barbara has a shotgun. And Harry has a Molotov cocktail plus his pipe. Or whatever that is. Tom has his knife and a flaming torch. And 
Helen has katana sword. Although it shows she has a knife too. Maybe she, two of them. Interesting. I'll have to see how other people painted that because. I mean, from the look of it, it looks like a uh, sword because of the, the angle. It's shorter. But that's interesting. These ones are the zombicide versions. They're not, like, true to the movie. Only these ones are true to the movie. And then Judy has a double barrel shotgun. And then the rest of these are all the, the monsters or the zombies from the movie. Love when they stick tape on these things. Yeah, there we go. Just take that off. I mean, I understand why they did it because of shipping, but. All right, so. I mean, it looks like we have, like, a lot of the same zombie characters because, like, these women are, like, the same, like, style cut. Same with these. So you get, like, multiples of the same version. And then there's, like, zombies that have, like, things that they're hitting on and one has a brick. Because if you've ever seen the 78 movie, they actually did do that. Now, if you look at the zombie movies of today like Resident Evil <laughs> they don't need that they're so fast and they're you know fingers changing all kinds of crap and you know it's uh it's pretty interesting you know how how much different the movies have have been since then you know and this is definitely going in KR multi case foam Without a doubt. It's weird how some of these ended up in like different positions and stuff. I mean, the good news is nothing's broken. That's the key. I, I really didn't want the, the miniatures broke. Yeah, like some of these are like upside down, <laughs> which. I don't know if they were just in a hurry. Slap it in. Um, this is just weird. It really is. Like, some of them are upside down. But, like, here's a fatty with a, sh with a shirt off. Uh, probably looks like me when I, you know, yeah, when I take my shirt off. <laughs> I know. I didn't want to give you guys a nightmare, but, you know. Um, and then here's a, a fatty in shorts. That's what they call them, you know. Again, me. Um, yeah, it does kind of look at me like me. <laughs> I hope that kind of helps a little bit. Uh, I can definitely post. I'll definitely post pictures, of, take pictures of these, and post them on my Facebook page for this. But that's pretty much the miniatures. I mean, you know, like I said, they got a lot of nice detail. And I really, you know, I, I to me, I suck as a painter. And I really do. Um, in my opinion, and I'm my own worst critic. Um, but I do like whenever miniatures have like a lot of detail because when I do paint them, at least there's something like, it's kind of like painting a coloring book. The more lines and that, that they have for the detail, the more things stand out. If that makes any kind of sense to anybody. So the zombicide is done. So I'm get the cards back in by keeping the.
stupid. Hey, I'm going to stick to every frickin' thing from sticking to it while I'm trying to put the stuff in. Alright, that's back in there. So that's the miniatures. At least for the base game, anyway, or for the base set. And then these are the double sided tiles. The scenario it'll tell me what tiles to do because they have like little things like this is one R and then I'm sure if I flip it over it's like two R or two B or you know whatever okay so we have one R flip it over 1v and as you can see it's different looks like an outside with a path here and I want to say that's corn maybe so there's that and then here's a 2r and I flip it over 2v and more of a pathway and stuff and yeah it, t it tells you things about it here's 3r 3V, 4R, 4V, 5R, 5V, and I'm sure like the zombies come out of the corn, you know, children of the corn. <laughs> and then 6R, and then 6V, and then you have some tokens like a car. I'm sure I could probably 3D print something there. And like zombie tokens, the girl on the cover, and whatever these do. And you know, they didn't give you a whole lot of tokens because you know, this game's basically limited. It's not like Zombicide, Green Horde, Black Plague, where you know, you can just have total fun. The last thing I want to cover with this is the cards, which I know if I open this, they're going to go everywhere, because that's just what happens. I'd have to sleeve these. I always sleeve my cards. I had a person that came over and gamed, and he was really messy when he ate and drank and we played games, because the plastic, the good thing I sleeved my things, because there was all kinds of nasty spots, and anything after he touched it, I kind of slid the sle sleeves off, threw them away. I didn't even clean them, I just put new ones on. All right, so, you know, here's a card for the walkers, and it has times seven, times five, times three, times one. So I'm sure it works in the, and here's the artwork for the cover of it, Night of the Living Dead, Zombicide. So there's, like, walker cards for each of the different style walkers. Like, you know, here's that one. You get... Looks like six of those type. You get five of the brick throwers. And for me and my shorts. <laughs> Sorry, I have to make jokes. Uh, yeah, see if they call them fatties. And there's one, two, three, four. There might be more because they never match. Yeah, you know, like they don't, they just throw them together. It was like that when I I do um, smash up uh, faction cards because they put them in the, like the, so many's in one package because there's four of them in, a, in the small upgrade boxes and uh, yeah it just it's like I start doing so many it's like oh crap and then the next one doesn't have the remaining yeah. So then here's relative cards. One relative survivor shift to Romero ID. 
I have to figure out what all these cards do. Yeah, see here's some more of these walker types here. May as well sort them. <laughs> it's relatives. Barricade and door opening. On every zone with walkers, nothing happens. So I'm sure that, like, yeah, yeah these do something in the game. On every zone with, with breakers, nothing happens. Uh, and then here's your weapons like hammer, crowbar, table leg. And you only get like so many. There's tire iron, Winchester 94. And then here's, I can't even pronounce that, M37, single barrel shotgun. There's a sawed off. That's, you know, uh, Smith & Wesson Model 10. Nice. Uzi, axe, baseball bat, chainsaw, katana, machete, uh, boards for you know boarding errors. I'm sure you have to use these cards to like once you defeat the zombies to reclose up what they opened, kind of like they did in the movie. So there's that, and then we have flammable fluid. Flashlight. Karen, poor baby. Set a relative in the zone, then discard this card. Mason jar. Molotov cocktail type thing. Uh, plenty of bullets. Plenty of shells. Scope. Maz shotgun. Or Maz shotgun. What a katana. Or some kind of machete attached to it. Nice. Yeah, Molotov, scoped Winchester. So, like, you can upgrade things. Like, you know, here's your torch, and then the car. Uh, get in the car. Get in or out of the car. Change seats in a car. Drive a car one or two consecutive exterior zones. Attack in each zone with zombies, except the starting zone. Friendly fire applies. So it's rules I got to look up in the book. But yeah. And, you know, there's, like, a crap ton of these cards. And the thing is, some of them don't have backs. Like, this car is double-sided. But these ones have backs, and they're different, too. Like, those ones are that, these ones are that. And that's pretty much the breakdown. And like I said, they have different symbols on the weapons, so... It, like I said, I'd have to look up how it's played. Just want to make sure I didn't uh, knock a card onto the floor. I've done that. Alright, so that takes care of that. that right there right there like that box cover okay so that's the base game now here's the bonus stuff that came in Night of the Living Dead, Dead of Night exclusives for the Zombicide game, for a Zombicide game. So let's see what these are. I, I know that they mentioned it, and I don't remember what the Kickstarter talked about it. Um, I think there was only one pledge with it, and there really was not like any kind of uh, 
stretch goals or anything that came with it. So a little disappointed over that, but you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cry about it. Okay, so we have Meat Hook. Just a couple of other ones in there. Looks like you have like other characters. Probably the ones... Uh, I don't know. Oh, Johnny. Yeah, they're coming to get you, Bob. It all. So, yeah, Karen's Trowel, Meat Hook. Two extra weapon cards. And hopefully in the um, game guide, it'll talk about how to use these, hopefully. Because there's really no instructions. But yeah, these are like the ones that you that they ran into like when she escaped. And, or when one of them, I think it was Barbara, that she escaped and got to the police. And they came with people and... So, and no tape on these, but you put tape on the other ones. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have Johnny, and I want to say Johnny. The other Johnny is this one that has a gun. We have Karen with the trowel. I want to say she was the one that was bitten that killed uh, what's his face. And here's her with a chainsaw. Interesting. To be honest with you, the chainsaw looks like it weighs more than she does. <laughs> That's just me. Okay. Chief McClellan. And Chief McClellan with his with the rifle and the meat hook. Deputy Vince. And Deputy Vince with two rifles and two guns. Alright, and I'm thinking two more zombies. So that is the Zombicide Night, or should I say Night of the Living Dead Zombicide? So I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, if you've ever played any Zombicide games, or any Simon uh, games, or, or, and any of the Zombicide ones, I have a feeling this is probably going to play really cool. Um, I know my wife played Green Horde when we went not yeah last year to origins game fair to learn how to play her game because she's we've had the kickstarter for a little while and i'm just now getting to painting it um i have this little thing called procrastination and bad time management except for at work at work it's like i want to get whatever task done so i can just take a mental break especially after dealing with what i deal with because um, sometimes, sometimes it's enjoyable. Sometimes uh, I, I'm like, can I drink alcohol right now? Um, it's about 50-50 mix. Okay. And then I'll show you the back of the main box. Once I get this put back away. Here's the back. 
with the figures. Exclusive for a Zombicide game. Uh, not a children's toy, age 14 plus hobby gaming product. Uh, eight survivor miniatures, four Romero mode survivors, four Zombicide mode survivors, two ghoul miniatures, four survivor ID cards, double sided, and two equipment cards, which we went over. But that's that back side of that one, and the back side of this one, which is not set up the same way. But yeah, it shows you a different one. Barbara, Helen, Tom. Uh, you get six of the fatty in the pants, six of the fatty in the shorts, and then six with the table leg, six with a brick, seven of this one. Looks like a guy in a nightshirt. Seven of this one. Seven of the woman in a looks like a nightgown. And then this one with the one dude. You know, you get one of the the dude that they like had focused in the movie. And then six of this one where he's, I don't know why. Uh, Karen Ghoul, Johnny Ghoul. But yeah, I mean, it's a really nice nice looking game. Uh, like I said, I still got to check with them, see if the Zombicide dice would work. that have like a symbol and stuff like that. And I might pick up a set somewhere, probably Miniature Market, to replace the regular dice with that. Uh, but I still have to tell them about the two Barbara and Helen had smushed noses. Really bad, too. Okay, so. Um, I know this is in retail stores now. Um, you could probably pick it up at your local game store. Uh, you can also order it. I want to say Miniature Market has it because I thought I saw it a couple of days ago because it actually hit... Uh, right around Halloween. Uh, and I got mine a week later, which, you know, it would have been nice if I would have had mine at Halloween, but didn't work out that way. So, but yeah, um, nice artwork on the side. Yeah, I would, uh, like I said, if you've played any Simon games, I would, I, I would highly recommend it. Uh, like I said, especially if you've, if you've seen the original Night of the Living Dead movie. Uh, for me, you know, I'm I'm a big fan of, of horror movies like that. I mean, if they'd come out with a Freddy Krueger game, I'd probably buy it. So, other than that, um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know, if, and if you like what I've been showing you, uh, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon to you know so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video 